Hello and welcome to the Fall 2020 Award Ceremony for the Youth Coding League. We are so, so impressed with this past year how schools and coaches, parents and coders especially, have prevailed through such a unique landscape of school closings, uncertainty, and virtual learnings. In years past, we've been able to all get into the same room in a big auditorium, and I'll, I'll tell you, I sure miss all of that excitement and that atmosphere that we were able to share in. But we are happy to make these announcements through video. Whether you're in your living room or you're at school, we're here to make the announcements for those teams that are gonna walk away with some fantastic prizes. I'll let Stacy and Liza take it away here in a second. I know you all are anxious to hear your school name come across, but I'd like to take a second just to remind you of why we're here. Computer programming is one of the fastest growing, most in-demand, highest paid occupations right now and projected to be in the future. We believe any student, no matter where you're from, no matter if it's public or private, urban or rural, whether you're a boy or you're a girl, whether you're white or black or brown or red or yellow, whether you're from a family of means or from a family with nothing, that you can and you should have access to these types of skills that help you create opportunity to have a better life. We will continue to lower barriers so that any student has access to be a coder and will continue to award excellence for those who thrive in it. So without further ado, here's Stacy and Liza to make the announcements of the Fall 2020 Youth Coding League Champions. The first awards we're handing out today are public and they're not a surprise, but they're really important. We want to recognize the top 10 regular season scoring coders from both the middle school and the junior high division. These coders left no code left uncoded and they excelled from sprints one through eight. You'll all be receiving cash rewards and we're mailing them to your school next week. Great job, guys. Next, we celebrate the hard work of our most improved coders. Our most improved coders were nominated by the coach at their school, and it's been a pleasure to watch your skill set grow all semester long. You guys will be receiving cash prizes mailed to your school in the next week. This has been such a challenging semester, and our YCL coaches have gone above and beyond to make sure that their students have learned a critically important skill. We appreciate the teachers who serve as coaches so much. We want to spotlight one coach in particular, Jennifer Solomon, coach of Heath Elementary. Jennifer is a rookie coach, but you wouldn't know it by the way she ran her team this semester. Congratulations, Jennifer. Professional software developers reviewed this fall's technical merit track projects and evaluated them based on core computer science principles. For the first time this semester, coders were able to keep working on their projects throughout the rest of the postseason. We are really proud of our top five technical merit projects in our middle school division. In fifth place from Central Middle School, right here in Cape Girardeau, we have Clayton Long. In fourth place from Richland R1 in Essex, Missouri, we have Kayla, Peyton, and Ava's project, The Three Musketeers. In third place from Kirkwood, Missouri, and a rookie school to the lead this year is William and John from Christ Community Lutheran School with their project, CCLS Team One. With her project, P.S. from Nell Holcomb School, Presley is taking home second place. Taking home the top spot in first place, we have seasoned YCL champions, Will, Gabe, and Grace, with their project, The Coding COVID, from St. Henry School in Charleston, Missouri. What a job well done to our technical merit winners. The industry professionals who checked these projects out were really impressed. From the preliminary round, where they fought to represent their school for the rest of postseason, to round one, where the competition raged across the entire youth coding league, and to round two, where things got fierce all the way to the final round of voting, these community favorite winners have battled it out through bracket-style rounds and emerged victorious. In fifth place, St. Paul Middle School's Ian and Sam. In fourth place, Chapk Elementary's Change of Future by Corbin and Braylon. In third place is Richland R1 in Essex, Missouri's The Three Musketeers 
by Kayla, Peyton, and Ava, who are also taking home fourth place in the technical merit category. Ladies, that is impressive and you are cleaning up today. This school up north is also winning big in technical merit and community favorite. Christ Community Lutheran School, Team 5, is taking home second place in community favorite. Good job, Natalie, Allison, and Campbell. Taking home the big prize in first place is another seasoned YCL veteran team, Sykeston's 5th and 6th grade centers, Eagles, project by CJ and Hutta. Thank you to all the school communities who show their support and help these young coders across the finish line to these big prizes. While industry professional software developers review the middle school technical merit projects, they were also reviewing the junior high division projects, and they were really impressed. In third place, from the SEMO Homeschool Warriors team out of Jackson, Missouri, we have the Sketching Scratchers, a project built by Danica, Kayla, and SS. This team had two members in the top five of the regular season, and that knowledge and attention to detail really paid off. In second place, all the way from Lawrence, Kansas, in their very first full Youth Coding League season, we have Bishop Seabury Academy's The Highlands, created by Katie and Owen. In first place, with a project that impressed industry software developers more and more every time it was refined, is Aubrey and Dolan with their race car project from Jackson Junior High School. Our technical merit winners should be so proud of their achievements. Our very last prizes to award for the Fall 2020 YCL season are the Community Favorite Awards for our Junior High Coders. Third place goes to Scott County Central's L Sky Jam by Eliana, Skyler, and Jamie in Sykeston, Missouri. Their project was also a fiercely competitive project in the technical merit category and featured some really special original artwork. Excellent work. In second place, we have Emmy and Beckley from Trinity Lutheran School in Cape Girardeau with their project, Trinity Five. In first is Jackson Junior High's Impact by Grant, Blake, and Owen. We'll ship prizes out to you guys this week or make arrangements with your coaches for pickup. You guys earned these prizes and we really hope you enjoy them. Wow, that was a lot of awards and we are so excited and proud and honored to be able to give those to you all. Um, I'll tell you, thank you again to schools, coaches, parents, especially student coders for all of your hard work and prevailing through such a unique semester. You all are so deserving of these awards and these acknowledgements, and we hope we see you back again here next semester. Soon, you'll have the chance to compete with schools all around the nation. So keep honing your skills. Take care.